All right, ladies, we're on day five, and I just told Carmen, let's just record this, because <laughs> we spent time before doing the video talking a little bit about, okay, what do we want to bring out? And mm -hmm. all of the time, she says these great things, and I'm like, I just need to record. It works both ways, <laughs> ladies. It works both ways. So we're yeah. on day five in John 11, mm -hmm. um, and we brought out at the beginning of the week that these are themes that John sets out first in his prologue. Absolutely, he does. And a big one that we're seeing right now, we talked about this idea of how intense it's getting. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like we can slice the crowd, right? We can slice mm -hmm. the people. And they are now on one side or the other. Yeah. They're either believing in him and his works, or they're not. Their hearts are hardened. And so we do see, we do see that theme in John 1, I think it's 1.10, where... Uh, Jesus is in the world. He made the world, um, uh, but yet the people do not know him. Mm -hmm. He came to his own, and they did not receive him. But mm -hmm. to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gives the right to be ch become children of God. So we see this I theme. I do too. And we see this theme of um, of unbelief versus belief set out in the beginning. And then John, in the very end, I think we talked about way back in September mm -hmm. when we started this, that John in 2031, he tells us why, why are these written? Why has he done this? What was his purpose in, that's in writing right, the gospel? That's right, that's right. John 20, 31, these are written so that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing, you might have life in his name. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think that comes out here. We see Martha, she's believing. I mean, she declared that. I think yeah. you read that verse to us this week. She believes that Jesus will do what he says he came to do. And so then, I don't know, it just brings it full circle. Why are we doing Bible study, mm -hmm. Ashrita? Why are we studying the Gospel of John? I love that you bring that up because just to take a step back, um, I mean, I, I grew up in the church. I unfortunately met and know so many people who know scripture intellectually, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, and there is beauty in knowing scripture. Mm -hmm. um, and yet, if that's where we stop, mm -hmm. it is not enough. Amen. This is not about knowing scripture. This is about knowing Jesus. Yeah, because we it's see different. this with the Jews, right? Mm -hmm. They knew what Jesus was doing. They mm -hmm. knew the prophecies. They knew everything intellectually, mm -hmm. and yet it did not move them to belief. Mm -hmm. It did not move them to want to know Jesus personally, mm -hmm. the way Martha and Mary and his mm -hmm. disciples yearned to know Jesus and spend time mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. And that is, I mean, that is the push of the whole Gospel of John, and that is mm -hmm. why we study Scripture. It's not merely to gather more Bible trivia. Absolutely. And I, you know, I think I would just like to add to that too. Ladies, if you ever feel discouraged um, by maybe how little you've done for the day, or maybe you just feel discouraged because you're looking at it and you're like, well, I'm not sure what I'm observing today. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to interpret this today. I mean, that's not, definitely, we want, we want to be growing in those ways. But that's not the point. It's not the point. Yeah, the point is that we are meeting with Jesus. We are coming to his word where he reveals himself to us. And I will say, just with yeah. that, the, the prayer section, I think for me sometimes it's tempting to skip it because I'll be like, oh, I'll just pray in my mm -hmm. head. Like, post the yes. book and move on, make yes. breakfast or whatever. But that is where we hit that personal encounter with Jesus, right? Amen. That, that's where we stop from simply observing and studying mm -hmm. to saying, okay, I'm acknowledging that this character is a real person mm -hmm. and I want to talk to him right now. Mm -hmm. And so my encouragement to you, again, I mean, we've said this again and again, even if you only observe one thing, interpret one thing, apply mm -hmm. one thing, but that prayer section, that is where you grow in your knowledge of Jesus mm -hmm. personally. Yeah, love that. Thank you for that encouragement, Ashrita. Yeah. Good stuff, ladies. We would love to hear more from you.